May. May coincides with step five. Confession, if you will. Representing integrity after having the courage to face the truth about ourselves in order to move past our negatives and change for the better. Forward progress for what we thought was a no-win proposition. Hopefully, after doing this work, we are feeling a part of society today, no longer feeling separate from. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. One day at a time. May 20th. Above all, take it one day at a time. As Bill sees it, page 11. Why do I kid myself that I must stay away from a drink for only one day, when I know perfectly well I must never drink again as long as I live? I am not kidding myself because one day at a time is probably the only way I can reach the long-range objective of staying sober. If I determine that I shall never drink again as long as I live, I set myself up. How can I be sure I won't drink when I have no idea what the future may hold? On a one-day-at-a-time basis, I am confident I can stay away from a drink for one day. So, I set out with confidence. At the end of the day, I have the reward of achievement. Achievement feels good, and that makes me want more. Tradition 3 is the only requirement for AA membership is the desire to stop drinking. It was originally going to be the honest desire to stop drinking, but the committee realized the alcoholic cannot differentiate the true from the false, and the word honest was taken out. If for now, today, this minute, we want to stop drinking, you are welcome in AA. Even if you are drunk at the time and you want help, we will help you. We welcome you. We stay sober by helping, regardless of who you are or if you get sober. We will do all we can to assist you get recovered, and you will do what you can by working the steps and getting a relationship with a higher power. There is no judgment in the rooms because we are all the same. We are all suffering from the same malady, and those of us who have found the spiritual solution live to pass the message of recovery on to those who still suffer. In order to keep it, we must give it away. We happily pay it forward. When we were drinking alcoholically, we were living in the past and the future. Now we are in the present. Yesterday is in the rearview mirror. Nothing we can change there, and the future is not in our control. Right here, right now, is how we stay sober. We do what we can do to make every situation better by unselfishly contributing peace and love not selfishly trying to take all we can from others. Remembering to ask ourselves, where is God in the equation, enables us to not take personally other people's words and actions. Whether it be in a business or social situation, we learn to appreciate the results are not in our control, and our higher power will provide for us without the need for us to be selfish and greedy. Trying to live life in fast-forward mode misses the joy of life. It is tempting to tell ourselves that we can never take a drink again, but that kind of thinking sets us up for failure. We can't predict the future, and making grandiose statements about our sobriety only creates unnecessary pressure. Instead, we embrace one day at a time. We know that we can commit to staying sober for just one day or even one minute at a time, and that gives us a little bit of confidence we need. It allows us to focus on the present with faith in our higher power, on the here and now, without worrying about what the future is going to bring. This helps us avoid feeling overwhelmed or anxious about the prospect of staying sober for the rest of our lives. When we commit to staying sober for just one day, we give ourselves the opportunity to experience the rewards of achievement. We feel good about ourselves, and that feeling encourages us. It reinforces that our belief 
that our higher power will provide our ability to stay sober. It is important to remember that sobriety is a process, not an event. We don't achieve it in one fell swoop. It takes time, patience, and persistence. By focusing on the present, prayer and meditation, by taking it one day at a time, we make the journey a little easier. We also learn to rely on the support of others and our God. We pray and meditate. We go to meetings. We talk to other alcoholics. We reach out when we need help or when someone else needs help. We find strength in the fellowship. We know we are not alone. Together, we face the challenges of sobriety and celebrate victories. One day at a time. May 20th. Above all, take it one day at a time. As Bill sees it, page 11. Why do I kid myself that I must stay away from a drink for only one day, when I know perfectly well I must never drink again as long as I live? I am not kidding myself because one day at a time is probably the only way I can reach the long-range objective of staying sober. If I determine that I shall never drink again as long as I live, I set myself up. How can I be sure I won't drink when I have no idea what the future may hold? On a a one-day-at-a-time basis, I am confident I can stay away from a drink for one day. So, I set out with confidence. At the end of the day, I have the reward of achievement. Achievement feels good, and that makes me want more. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.